I'm Cadence McKenna, your neighborhood reporter in Robinson. 911 services in McLennan County were having issues earlier this week. I'll detail what you should do if your 911 call doesn't go through. Robinson 911, where's your emergency? Robinson police found out their 911 cell service was down Tuesday morning. They didn't receive 911 calls for about an hour. So I got to thinking, what should you do if 911 isn't working? I asked the assistant police chief to find out. Uh, the best thing you could do is in your contacts is save the non-emergency line of every local police department in your phone. Um, th those rarely go down. That's a landline and it's a backup way of calling 911. So you could call that number directly and, and reach the same dispatcher that's going to answer your 911 call. The non-emergency line for Robinson Police is on your screen. If you can't call, you can text 911. So if you're experiencing an issue where you can't get through on a call to 911, you can always try to text 911. And that goes to the same 911 dispatcher as well. And they will be able to respond to your text via text. But keep in mind, the text service could go down too, which happened in Waco over the weekend due to maintenance. I reached out to Waco police and they tell me the service was down from Friday afternoon to Tuesday evening. They encourage people to call 911 in case of an emergency. Now the 911 services are now back up and running. Please say if this were to happen again to call the non-emergency line on your screen. Your neighborhood reporter in Robinson, I'm Cadence McKenna. If you're reaching out to text 911, be sure to include your name, the address, and ask for fire, police, or an ambulance. And only do so if it's not safe to place a voice call, since texts can take longer to respond to than calls.